A long time ago, someone suggested on the comments that I try to make and taste test sardine butter. I think I did that, but I really didn't give it an honest effort. I just threw it in with something else. So I'm going to do it a little better today and really give it justice. Now I'm also in my new studio and I've got the high tech lighting set up here as well, as you can tell. Obviously, I'm a noob when it comes to this kind of stuff. So rather than look like a dork, I'm gonna remove my glasses so you don't see this alien effect reflection. It might be a little bit difficult for me because I can't see anything anymore, but at least you're not blinded by the reflection. I'll dispense of some of the usual formalities that I go through on my video. We're going to be using King Oscar, the king of sardines, to make sure we use the Primo variety. Then also we're going to use real butter. You can tell when it's real butter because it says butter. I've pre-softened some in a dish because it doesn't mix very well when it's a hard refrigerated bar. Let's open the package. First, let's read skinless and boneless sardines. Certainly, you wouldn't want to use the ones with all the scales and tails and entrails because that would really be distasteful, really aesthetically not pleasing. So, we're going with the skinless boneless ones to make it look a little more pure. It's in olive oil, finest imported, and of course, wild caught like all sardines are. What kind of stuff do we have on the back here? 190 calories per serving. One serving per can. King Oscar skinless boneless sardines are made from premium quality small pill chard. That's the type of fish that makes a sardine. Remember, sardine is more like calling something a pickle. It's not really what it is, it's the process. So these are sardined pill chards. Wild caught in the Atlantic Ocean, always hand packed and kosher certified. Hey, kosher certified. Ingredients sardines, olive oil, salt. Pretty basic. Nothing else really to grab my attention here. The standard rectangular tin. Easy open pull top. Not the silly ones on the corner, but the good ones in the center. Give it a pull. Opens nicely. And now I'm going to do my calorie reducing draining technique repurposing this a tuna fish can for all those of you who are earth friendly this is what I do very carefully tip it upside down and let it drain out in that tin can it really is the best way to remove all the oil, the excess oil from the can, and to do it safely. Now, I made a major mistake there because you see the oil dripping off the pull tab. That means I have to get my fingers all dirty and smelly with that oil from the pull tab. I should have just tilted it one way or the other and left it that way and not rotate it all the way around. Good thing we have the absorbent paper towel. I will do my best to absorb the very odorous olive oil mixed with fish. Not too bad. All right. We'll put that down in here to absorb some of that, just in case this gets tipped over. Correct positioning. Hold it firmly so this don't go flying up. Poke your eye out. Wait for it to go ting or snap. I'm going to take a risk and move this without anything under it. And there were no droplets expelled. Oh man. Don't those look good? No skin, no scales, no tails, and best of all, no entrails. 
And they're all kind of sitting there up on their backside too, not laying down. Nice. All right. Pretty basic to make sardine butter. Butter. Sardines. Mix them together. I think one of these little creatures should be sufficient for that amount of butter. I put maybe a third a third of a stick in there. Yeah. Maybe two of these. There, just so you get a better look. Come on, focus. Best I can do. Cheap phone. Lay them out. Chop them up in the butter. Really looks like tuna fish, doesn't it? Maybe a little dirty tuna fish. That's all there is to making it. Now, you have to apply it to something. Let's try my typical substrate, salting crackers. Actually smells like butter, not not sardines. All right, here we go. Wow. Now I don't remember if I did this before. This tasting this good, so maybe I didn't do this before. But this really tastes good. Mm. I'm not sure if it tastes like buttery sardines or fishy butter. Rich. Really rich. Now, the ultimate test is not using salting crackers. It is using toast because for me butter goes with toast. That means I need a toaster because this is just bread. This ought to be fun. Two breads, 
So we end up with two toasters. Okay, here we go. Bet you wish your toaster was that quick. Perfect. They're a bit hot. Doesn't spread quite as easy as butter. But then again, I'm using a fork, not a knife. Pretty good. There we go. Perfect bite circle. Another perfect bite circle. Kind of a nose rest. This stuff is delicious. Wow. I think I found a totally new way of eating toast. This beats regular butter. It beats peanut butter. It beats jelly. It beats peanut butter and jelly. It beats cheese. I'm thinking it beats a lot of other things too. This stuff is outstanding. Wow. I'm gonna take my time and finish this a little bit later. But for now, let me reiterate. Sardine butter. You buy butter and skinless sardines, mix them together. Wow, is it really good. I'm going to try this again with some other brands of sardines, just in case it makes a difference. Until then, thanks for watching.